Hey everybody, welcome to this cardio workout. In the next 30 minutes we're going to be doing some aerobics, we're going to be doing some interval training, and we're going to be doing some high intensity stuff towards the end. You don't need any equipment, just make sure that you have some water, and make sure that your body feels mobile and loose and warm and injury free before you start this video. If you need to take a little bit of time, hit pause, take five minutes, get all your joints loosened out, and then get ready to start. We're going to begin with a little jog on the spot. So let's get everybody moving very light on your feet. Now there's no big impact here, just stay light on your feet. And if you'd rather put some music on yourself, feel free, just move to the beat. That's all we're doing, run into the beat. And you can feel that impact on your feet, so let your toes settle on the floor. Feel the weight moving from side to side. Engage those muscles in your legs and your hips. And engage your core muscles and bring in your arms. There we go. Nice and gentle. And we're just loosening up the upper body as we move those feet. So just loosen up your shoulders. That's good. Loosen up your neck as well. Remember, this is a movement class. We want to get the body moving. So with your wrists, elbows, your shoulders. There we go. And you can bring that into a more energetic run then. So when you're doing something like this, you can mix between a walk and a run at your own will. But keep the impact light. And keep that upper body loose. And you can move around, you can change direction. You can move around on your floor. Make the arms move like you're running. So we keep those hands light. Move your elbows by your sides. Let your breathing flow. Let your breathing flow. So I'm just moving to the side to give you an idea of this movement here. Reach and pull. One, two, one. Two. There we go. Imagine you're grabbing something, you're pulling it towards you. Firing up those arms. One, two. There we go. Just taking the body through a bit of movement. And the aim of this is to raise your pulse, to warm up your muscles, and to move the joints. One, two, one, two, there we go. And these are very similar to the way I normally start an aerobics class. One, two, one, two. Okay. So let's take your hands in and lift your knees. Again, this is a fairly loose movement, mainly focusing on the hips. But you need to become mindful of the right leg and your left leg. Get a little twist into your upper body. So you're rotating with these core muscles. Good. And then I'm going to come back into that run whenever you're ready. Here we go. And we can bring in those arm movements. 
One, two, one, two. Try and loosen up your upper back. Move those shoulders. So this is a fairly gentle warm up. Be nice and patient with your body. Then bring the knees up. There we go. And you can add in that little twist. good. Two more. And then jog. There we go. So our next movement, we're going to loosen out the hips. And let's just do a little half jack. Just touching your feet out to the sides. Try and get a wee flow in your movement. And again, I like to move to music. So if you have music on, try and move with it. Side, side, there we go. And I'm still moving my arms. That's good, that's good. Let's add all that together. So run. On the spot. That's it. You can raise the intensity every time you come to these movements. We've got 10 seconds left. Good, keep running. Then we're going to flow into a knee raise. One, two, one, two. There we go. Add another little twist. That's good. And then we'll take it down into that half jack. You can just do this at your own speed. Let's make it a little bit more complicated. So we do two to the side, two to the back. One, two, three, four. Tap, 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 tap. That's good, how low can you go? light. Last time, and take it back to a run. There we go. Now look at this. You can use the floor that we have to run forwards and to run backwards. That's it. Now you might have more space than me, so make use of it. One more time. And increase your speed. Let's pick up the pace into a sprint. Now really engage your whole body. Really quick feet. Yes, yes, 10 seconds left. Does your body feel strong? Let's slow it down. And lift your knees. See how that flows? Now, as you're lifting your knees, 
Lift your opposite arm. There we go. And imagine you're pulling something down. Loosen it out. Loosen those joints out. Really focus on stretching out that side. And take it down to your half jack. One, two, three, four. That's good. One, two, three, four. Really focus on what your feet are doing here. Okay, let's take it down into a jump. Nice and loot. There we go. So I'm going to bring in a wee side step. Just a nice flow. There we go. A nice flow. Tap your feet together. We just add new movements. And that way we build up a routine. Okay, so from there we're going to keep the feet moving. But take your hands into fists. And just punch front of your nose. into it. There we go. Tighten your tummy. Stay light on your feet. And hit hard. And when you're doing this, you can move around your room. You know, you can follow your imaginary opponent. You're just trying to maintain that rhythm. Let's take it back to the front. And swing your arms. How are we holding up out there? Hopefully we're warmer. And hopefully we're feeling a wee bit looser. Now we're going to try and get a wee bit lower by bending the knees and sitting the hips down. That's good. We try to keep the back fairly tall and we bend the knees. Let's do four. Up. That's it. And let's do four. Down. One more time. Up. One, two, three, four, down. Ready to run. Here we go. You can move forwards and back if you have the space. it. Right, nice. there you are. 10 seconds. Really fast. Feel your body strong as you sprint to that finish line. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift your knees. There we go. You've loads of options with your arms. You can keep it simple. You can add in that little twist. Or you can reach your arms up. 
and pull down. Add a little bounce now to each step. That's it. Let's do your half jack. One, two, three, four. There we go. Stay light on your feet. Tap your toes. And if you want to make it a bit tougher, add in four jump jacks. So you're counting to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time. That's it. And step. Right, left, right, left. Oh yes, now we're moving. If you need water at any time, go and get some water. I'm really here for you. That's it. One, two. And I hope you notice how easy it is to move now. Let's swing those arms. Four up. That's it. And then four down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's good. And when you come up, reach your arms. And when you go down low, swing your arms. There we go. One more round. Now we're going to keep the side steps moving. Take your hands and the fists and add in a punch. That's it. Land each one. Right in front of your nose. You can move around if you want. But I want you to feel it in your core. So really tighten those muscles up and pop your shoulders. That's it. Land them. Come on. Aim your punch towards me. That's it. I like it. And jog. We've come to the end of our warm up. And hopefully, you feel suitably warm. If you need water, go and get some. Okay, we're ready to raise the intensity now. So the running is a little bit stronger. There we go. Now, kick your heels up. That's it. Pick it up. Make it feel like you're going somewhere. Knees up. Here we go. One, two, one, two. 
Spread in the arms. Add in the bounce. Hopefully we're doing all right. We're gonna change this up a little bit. So listen up. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Keep it moving.
five, six, seven, eight. And squat it down. section okay we'll do two rounds in each round there'll be five exercises with 20 seconds of work in each one you'll have a little 10 second breather to get ready for the next exercise but they're fairly simple exercises just give them a hundred percent okay so hopefully you feel ready make sure you have a little bit of space and our first exercise nice and simple it's running on the spot so when you get a whistle ready Let's go. You're really tight now. Get your arms involved. Your feet should be like a blur. Pick it up until you hear that bell. Three seconds left. Okay. Shake it out. Exercise number two. Onto the floor. Mountain climber, bring your knees in with the whistle. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Be strong on your arms. Stay strong. Push into the floor. Okay. And we're back up. Exercise number three, we use the squat and we add in a jump. Okay, see what we got. We want to get down low, so give yourself time to get down low. That's it. Shake out. Exercise number four. 
Let's just punch in. So really stabilize. Close your fist tight. Punch. Really stabilize those hips. Hit hard. Yes. Shake out. Exercise number five. Heel kicks. It's all about the knee bend, guys. Let's go. Get a 60 second breather. So we'll do that one more time. Use this little interval. Loosen out. Let your body recover. That's what it's for. Allow the body to recover and prepare for those five exercises again. One more round, then we're done. Feeling pretty happy with ourselves after this. Are we ready? Let's get back into gear. The first exercise, running on the spot. Really quick feet, ready, let's go. Let's get those arms up. Feel your tummy tight. Feel your hips strong. Sprint to that line. Five seconds, come on. Keep it up. Okay. Exercise number two. Mountain climber. Keep your hips down like this. Heads up, let's go. Imagine you're pushing the car. <laughs> Push into the floor. Nearly there. Exercise three is a power jump. Are we ready? Let yourself get down low. You can bounce forwards and back. Bunny hop. Exercise number four. We punch. Stabilize. Let's go. Now keep your feet light. But really stabilize your hips. Come on. Me hard. Okay, one more. The one we've all been waiting for. Give everything you have. One little heel kick. That's it. Keep those energy levels up.
Keep them up. Come on. Finish strong. Yes. How are we feeling? That was a journey. After this video, take a little time to cool down, to relax your body, maybe stretch and mobilize. Get some water on board. Thank you for joining me again this week. See you soon.